guys and welcome back to my channel and if you're new here my name is Brenna I am Brenna Emmanco where we experiment health awareness and positivity through tons and tons of different products long time no see you guys well, I mean technically like I've been posting like a video every single week but a couple of those have been sit down videos and I just haven't like filmed in forever I feel like and not much really going on here I've just been working on a few things on the back end and then I actually ended up designing a couple new apparel items so hopefully those will be in very very soon and I'm really proud of them I think they are simple yet kind of empowering and I think it's just absolutely perfect I've also been working on some pouches so I finished this one last night I just have to like put it together you know and then I finished a bunch of these squares that we will put together to make a zipper pouch and I will have zipper pouches launching soon as well my plan is just to make a bunch of them because I also have a craft fair coming up I can't wait. I'm so excited for craft fair season to start up again. And we eventually need to do our taxes sometime in the next couple weeks. I have been pushing that off so much and I just need to stop. I need to just do them, get them over with, yada yada. But we're not doing that today, I promise. I'm filming a whole second video. I've not been saying that, but I'm gonna be filming a, a whole nother video on taxes. Don't you worry. I know I've been saying that for like two months now but just bear with me like it will come I promise but I think today we are just going to crochet a bunch my plan is to crochet like a bunch of these like white cream pouches and then put different colored bows on the front and of course like make two of one or whatever and I wonder like how many I could get done today like even if it's just getting to this point where it has like nothing on the inside you know because obviously like I'll be putting in a liner and a zipper but I'm curious to know like how many I could get done in a day if like I really dedicate my time to doing this so why not let's see let's see how many little mini crochet bags I can get done in one day we are starting a little bit later in the morning it is currently 10 35 as you can see so let's get going It is 11.50 and I just finished one bag panel thing, if you want to call it. Not bad, takes me about an hour-ish to make, but let's keep going.
check-in update is currently 3.03 and as of right now I have these three bags done and then I also have these three done so in total we have six done so far I didn't realize that this one is a little bit bigger than this one not by much obviously again they're handmade they're not perfect but I think the purple ones turned out adorable and then this pink one did too and we already had this pink one made and they're about the same size so I'm pretty proud of that so in total we have seven bags done and now all I need to do is make the liners for them and then put a zipper on them and they'll be done Alrighty, it's 5.48 and I got all the liners done. They're not sewn onto the bag yet because I need to look up how to sew a zipper in general, like on a bag quick. But I just put them together so then I knew like which one went for what bag because they're all like different sizes. But I'm gonna go ahead and look up how to sew a zipper onto a bag and then we should be all done with them. Well, I sewed my first zipper in successfully, but it's, um backwards so that's awesome um and i'm realizing that maybe i shouldn't have sewed all the pieces together i should have put the zipper on and then sewed the lining together i think i'm gonna take a break and come back to this tomorrow because it's 6 30 and i'm just not in the mental game for this right now so i'll see you guys tomorrow good morning you guys and welcome to day two of making these zipper pouches i ran to the store this morning to get some more pink fabric this isn't the exact one that i had but it's a lighter pink and i think it'll go with the bows just a little bit better and then all of the tutorials i was watching yesterday mentioned to have a zipper longer than like the opening of the actual bag so i got more zippers and i got different colors so i got like pink i got white i also got a tannish color because like the yarn on the outside of the bows are tannish so I thought these would be perfect for those two. And then I also got this lavender color for the purple bows. So off camera, I'm gonna try this out and see how it goes first because I just know that if I videotape myself, something's gonna go wrong and I really don't wanna start off my day like that. So I'm gonna do this off camera quickly and then hopefully it works. And if it does, I will show you guys what it looks like. Alrighty, I finished the first one. It is the purple bow. And there's the zipper, if you guys can tell. It literally looks pretty seamless, which I'm very happy about. And here's the inside. And I made it so then this can come out, like if you need to wash it or anything. Um, but 
yeah you can just put it back in and I'm pretty proud of this like that turned out way better than I was expecting and I'm super proud of it and I actually ended up not using any of the new ones that I got the ones that I already had were pretty perfect for these which makes me feel good about it because then I know that I don't have to waste the ones that I already had but yeah I'm honestly just gonna get going on the rest of them and I'll just show you guys when I'm finished with all of them Okay, you guys, after a full day of sewing and hand stitching a little bit, I officially finished all of the bags. I know you guys are kind of like lopsided right now, but I don't really feel like fixing you because that just sounds like a lot of work right now because I'm super tired. Also, if you're wondering, it's currently 4.12 and I got a late start to the day. I started about like 10 o'clock, so this is six hours of work, but we officially have two pink bow bags done. They have a tan zipper, so then they kind of blend a little bit easier. And I'm just gonna show you that the zippers are pretty much seamless and they are in there really good now i gotta show it off to you guys so then you know that i really did work hard on these zippers to make sure like nothing would happen to them this is the second one then i also finished three of these ones this is what they look like a little bit closer up it took me a little bit longer to do these ones because i did two of them like officially done everything and I realized that they were inside out. So I had to take the insert bag off and then flip them and then redo that. It didn't take like very long, but still had to do that. So that kind of sent me back like about 30 minutes, 45 minutes. But we have three of them done. So here they are close up. I did a white zipper because of the speckled white in here, but here's a zipper works amazing and of course it's like lined with pink because mainly it's pink so then hopefully it blends in pretty well but again zipper all good to go here is the second one okay and the third last but not least i also finished the purple bow bags uh, don't hate me on this i am gonna keep this one for myself i feel like i don't really keep anything crocheted for myself besides like the pink bow bag because i want to make sure like i get a bunch out there for you guys but don't worry i'll make like another one but i just know like i really want to use this for my makeup and i'm so excited because when i use it and if someone sees it i can be like oh yeah i made this but just to show you like the zipper works great in this and then here's a zipper in the other one. All right. I really am super excited about these because one, I think that they would make a wonderful gift to someone and two, they're just so dang cute. Like I, I love them and I plan on making like a bunch of more variations. And they will come out soon. I will pop on the screen the date that they are launching. I'm thinking next week, I mean, 
you guys will see it if it's here. I hope you guys love them as much as I do because one, I worked really hard on them and two, they're just adorable. Alrighty, well, I'm gonna end the video here. If you guys enjoyed it, please get a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you're not subscribed already and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye guys. Bye.